Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be recreating the award-winning peanut butter burger from Two Rivers Brewing out of Easton, Pennsylvania. Let's get going. This request came from a viewer of mine named John who lives in Pennsylvania. He loves Two Rivers, he goes there often, and he is obsessed with a peanut butter burger. He asked me if I'd do this video. I asked him if he wouldn't mind doing a little recon for me next time he went there, take some photos, talk to the waiter, you know, just get some information on this burger, which he did, he did a wonderful job. I emailed the restaurant and asked if they would mind offering some help. I told them what I had planned on doing, and I got a very quick response back from the general manager and executive chef John Bioker, and I hope I didn't butcher that last name. And John was very helpful. He basically asked me what questions I had. I asked the questions, and he did a pretty, pretty good job of answering most of the questions I had. So thank you, John. Um, we're going to start out with a gastrique. This burger has a chili gastrique. John helped me with this recipe by basically telling me um, the ingredients that are in there, but I'm sure, you know, he's an executive chef. He's just he just knows what he's doing and he's throwing in handfuls of, of ingredients and it turns into a masterpiece. So I did my best coming up with the gastrique using the ingredients list that he provided for me and the instructions he gave me. So let's get started. I have my skillet heated up. I'm going to add one tablespoon or so of olive oil. So I'm going to add two bell peppers chopped. I'm just going to keep this stuff moving until it softens up. Okay, it's looking pretty soft now. I'm going to add one cup of orange juice, quarter cup of chipotle paste. This has got the chopped peppers in there. One quarter cup of apple vinegar, one teaspoon lemon juice, one teaspoon lime juice, teaspoon cumin. And I'm adding about two teaspoons of raw sugar. A little salt, a little pepper, and I'll adjust the seasoning if necessary. So I'm going to take this to the stove top behind me. I'm going to reduce the liquid by half. While that's happening, I have some more stuff that we need to make for this burger. The next component for this burger is going to be kind of a, like a pickled onion, I guess. What I have here is some red onion that I've sliced really thin. Now, I was just looking at a picture of their burger uh, to see, just to make sure how they uh, basically layer their ingredients. I realized they, they do more of a kind of a rougher, kind of a julienne cut. I sliced these. It's not going to make any difference as far as the flavor is concerned. What I'm going to do is add a lot of kosher salt, enough to cover the, all these onions. Now what I want to do is set this aside for about 30 minutes, which I've already done. Voila. So I did just what I did over there. I covered them with a lot of kosher salt, set them aside for about 30 minutes. Then I rinsed off all of the salt. And you can see they've definitely changed in appearance and texture. So now what I'm going to do is add enough lemon juice to cover these guys. Add a little more. Now I'm going to add some raw sugar. And there we have it. The pickled onions for this burger. One more component. This, is, this one is awesome. So one of the really unique toppings of this burger is a peanut brittle powder. And so one of the questions I asked Jeremy is, hey, how do you make this powder? Tell me about the powder. And his response was, we make the peanut brittle powder in-house and it's almost impossible to make because it gets too sticky. So I took that as a challenge and pretty happy with the results. Initially what my thought was is I'll take the peanut brittle and coat it with powdered milk. And I was talking to my wife about it and she suggested that I use peanut butter powder. So she's a lot more intelligent than I am because it worked awesome. I ran some tests and it, not only did it turn into really nice peanut brittle powder, but I was able to leave this sitting out. I wanted to see if it got hard. 
and it stayed in powder form um, pretty much the whole day. So what I have here is some really good peanut brittle and I am just going to simply put some peanut brittle or peanut butter powder on here. And then I'm going to just sort of move it around. I want to make sure that I get all the sides of this peanut brittle coated with this peanut butter powder. All right. on. And there we have it. Peanut brittle powder and this stuff is insane. Wait until you see how it gets used. I'm like I said, I'm very excited about this burger. Let's move on to the next component. All those ingredients for that gastrique are now in my food processor. We're going to get these all blended up. Wow. This stuff is killer. It's, it's got a nice amount of heat, but the sweet and the kind of citrusy flavors that I orange juice is really good. Okay, I have I'm going to be using the odor today. I have it all preheated outside. Let's get to cooking this monster burger. I am using the Yoder YS640 on this cook right now. We're burning at 350 degrees and I'm using hickory pellets. So I have the deflector plate where you can remove that, you know, that hatch door and I have grill grates placed right over that fire. And as you can see right here, I am cooking bacon. Now Two Rivers gets all their meat from local sources and I got my hamburger and the bacon from Porter Road. They're out of Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, actually met these guys um, on a trip that my wife and I went to not too long ago. Great guys and killer barbecue in their parking lot if you want to try it. And I'm using their meat. That's, uh, this is 80-20 ground beef and I've got their bacon right there too. Really good stuff. So I'm going to add just some kosher salt. Get this down right over the fire. Add some more kosher. So Two River serves up an eight ounce patty. They start out on the charbroiler and then they finish it on a medium heat, serving it up medium rare. that's what I'm gonna do. All right, this bacon is done. I'm going to go ahead, move the patty to the indirect side. I'm going to place one of my rectangular ballistic griddles over the grill grates. I'm going to be using that as a flat top to toast up the buns prior to serving this thing up. So let's go ahead and get the lid closed. See you when this thing is medium rare. Okay, the patty's at 125 now, and I'm pulling it about 134, 135. It's time to add some cheese. And I'm going to add some cheddar. This is sharp cheddar cheese. We're getting close. Burger's looking killer. Let's toast those buns. Two Rivers uses brioche buns, buttered. That's what I like to do. All right, that's looking good. Nice light toast. Let's build this thing. So on this burger, Two Rivers uses Jeff. Jeff Creamy, executive chefs are choosy for Jeff. That's stupid. Anyway, let's get this spread on. They do it on the bottom bun. Not a crazy heavy layer, just going edge to edge with a thin layer of this stuff. And for those of you who may be grimacing right now, peanut butter and peanuts in general go very good with, with meat. I mean, think of Thai food. 
Now for that peanut brittle powder. Now for that patty. Two strips of bacon. Some of those onions. And that red pepper gastrique. Hopefully I got this part right. I'm pretty confident about everything else. And we'll crown this beautiful burger. One thing is for certain that this is a very pretty burger. I don't know how well it's coming off on tape right now, but just especially with those those that purple that the red onions turn that kind of a purple color. It's just really popping. Let's cut this thing in two. There we go. The peanut butter burger. And I cannot wait to try this out. It's gorgeous. Wow. You know, it's crazy because I made this hamburger. I made it step by step. And I knew there was, you know, of course the peanut butter, I was expecting the peanut butter. But for whatever reason, when I bit into that, the little sweet bite of that peanut brittle powder, I, it caught me by surprise and it was a nice surprise. Because the peanut butter actually, you know, it just sort of accentuates that, the beefiness. Then all of a sudden you get that little sweet bite. And don't think, think for a minute that this is a, like some sweet burger. Um, it's layers upon layers of different flavors and textures. It's crazy. Um, I love the peanut butter. I, the peanut butter or peanut brittle powder is killer. Um, then you get that, you know, that salty savoriness of the bacon, the cheddar cheese, and then that gastrique. And I hope I made it right. I don't know if I made it right, but even if I didn't, I'm keeping that recipe because it's killer. I mean, it, it just sort of ties everything up. It, you know, you're getting that little sweet peanut brittle thing and all of a sudden you get hit with that, that spice. And there's that, the citrus notes coming through. This burger is insane. And I get asked all the time, Greg, what's your favorite hamburger of all the burgers you made? And this is definitely up there. I can comfortably say in the top three, uh, without a doubt, uh, in the top three. This is killer, and I'd, uh, if I'm ever in Pennsylvania, I'm going to Two Rivers and I'm gonna try this. I wanna see how close I got, but this is good. And I figured out the impossible peanut brittle powder. This stuff's good. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep those suggestions coming in. If I'm in Pennsylvania, I'm going to Two Rivers. I'll have a link down below. Check, check them out because they're just, they're very cool people. I mean, very rarely do I get, you know, an executive chef emailing me back, willing to, and actually excited about helping. So thanks, Jeremy. That was very cool. See you guys on the next video. Cheers.